You're used to getting what you want, aren't you, handsome? People just love your charisma, your face. They eat your words up like the rats eat the cheese in the trap. Oh, boss, where do you think you are? Maybe I'm a ghost. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell me you just stumbled down here. What I need to know is why you're here. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like... This. <laughs> I want to stick your lovely face in a piranha tank. I want to apply an acid glaze to your sculptured body. I want to throw your pocket mirror under a thresher and watch you fetch it. But I'm no butcher, boss. Are you? You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. Because I like the sound of my own voice. It's not every day we get visitors, boss. I needed to hear it from you. You're a long way from home, and neither the Prince, nor Isaac, nor Nines have any domain down here. Tread carefully. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. I like to discuss business face to face. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> Behind you, boss. Oh! Oh, God, Toreador! You vainglorious narcissistic poser! How I loathe that determination of your kind to belie your true nature with Paris fashions and pomp! You are a dead thing, a creature of the shadows. Start acting like one. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Sit and look pretty. Pretend you never died. Do some finger painting. What a pathetic waste of blood. Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shabisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? I'm not one to waste words like little Lord Flaunt Lacroix up there. There's a connection. Want to hear it? Listen, I think I hear someone saying something about it. Oh, wait, that's my voice. The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred, sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. Gee, that's original. You think that up all by yourself? You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. 
That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown. I'll give you what you need. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Let's see what I got. For one of your kind, it ain't gonna be cheap. That thing behind that pretty face of yours is called a brain. If you want to survive in Chinatown, I suggest you use it. Or if all else fails, you could just use your pocket mirror to blind them. 